Welcome to the first in a series of quick start videos that will help you get up and running with iRise. As an iRise user, you have state-of-the-art software visualization technology at your fingertips. In this first video, we'll guide you through a quick tour of the iRise Studio interface and introduce you to some of the most common tasks you'll perform in iRise. Let's get started. When you open iRise Studio, the welcome screen is the first thing you will see. In the welcome screen, you can create a new blank project, or you can open an existing project either with the Open a Project link or by selecting a project you recently had open in Studio. The links in the lower left corner lead to several learning resources, including the quick start videos you're viewing right now. If you don't want to see the welcome screen each time you open Studio, select the checkbox in the bottom left corner of the window, and then close the welcome screen. If you change your mind, you can always access the welcome screen from the Studio Help menu. With the welcome screen closed, we can also create and open projects from the file menu. Let's create a new blank project so we can do a little exploring in the Studio UI. We're going to create this project in our private projects folder, which simply means that the project will be stored on our own computer as opposed to storing it on a server. Let's call this Quick Tour Studio. As you can see, the new project loads in our workspace ready for editing. Let's take a look at one more project management tool before we explore the workspace. If you expand the file menu, one of the options is the Organizer. The Organizer is a one-stop shop for nearly all of your project management tasks within iRise. The left pane will display all of the projects stored in your computer. If you connect to the server, the right pane will display projects stored on your Definition Center. Within the Organizer, you can create new projects, duplicate or delete projects, and, as the name implies, organize your projects and folders. With the Definition Center interface, you can also upload projects to the server or check out a project for offline editing. Now let's take a look at the Studio workspace. When you create a new project in iRise, your first page is automatically created for you, which is what we have displayed in our workspace now. You can see that the page is selected in our directory panel. As we add more components to the directory, selecting them will change our view in the main workspace. Whatever we select in the directory is displayed here. When we expand the new menu above the directory, we can see the different types of project components available in iRise. Choosing a component from this menu is one of several ways to add it to your project. As the list of components in your directory grows, it's a good idea to organize them in folders. You can drag components into your folders when the need arises. The Details panel is used to configure the attributes of anything you create in iRise. What appears in this panel is determined by the object we have selected in the workspace. Right now we have our original page selected. As we add more content to this project in later videos, you'll see how the panel changes when different objects are selected. We can control our view of the workspace in several ways. The scroll tool and the zoom tool enable us to pan and zoom in on the workspace, something to remember when we start adding content to our pages. You can also change your zoom level with the controls in the bottom right corner of the window as well as the View menu. It's a great idea to familiarize yourself with the keyboard shortcuts in Studio, such as Control-0 for Zoom to Fit. You can review the keyboard shortcuts in the iRes Help System or in the Quick Reference Guide, both of which are accessed from the Studio Help menu. Last but not least, you can personalize the Studio workspace to suit your own preferences. You can increase the area that you have to work with by collapsing the directory and details panels. You can change the appearance of objects on your pages by displaying widget boundaries. And finally, you can accelerate alignment tasks by enabling grid lines and snap to grid, or by selecting auto alignment from the view menu. We hope you enjoyed this first of our quick start videos. With the remaining videos in the series, we'll focus in on some of the common tasks that you and your reviewers will perform in iRise. With each video you watch, you'll lay more groundwork for developing the confidence and skills to leverage iRise visualizations in all of your requirements definition projects. We'll see you soon.